What's up? What's up? So I want to tell you a little story that happened a few days ago. <laughs> it's really funny. Um, it depends. So what happened was there was this girl. I was going home from work, and then there's this usual path that I go to from from like the bus stop to to my house. So I was in the traffic light to cross the road on the way to my house. I saw this girl from afar, and I was like, "Oh God damn! Blue eyes, curly hair." She got that Arabian look, and I was like, my goodness, she's beautiful. Thick in all the right places, fit in all the right places. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is it. This is my chance. So from afar, I was just playing it cool. Like, are you there? Are you not there? Where are you? I'm looking, not looking, I'm looking again, not looking again. <laughs> I was doing a lot of that. And then as the pedestrian crossing, as the lights turned green and it was our turn to cross, I was like, shit, this is it, boy. I crossed the street. Um, she walked behind this lady. And then as I was walking and she was walking with me, that lady was blocking my POV of her. But as the lady moved away and I saw her, you know, it was like a slow reveal, like a Korean drama, like, whoo, time stood still. Everything was in slow-mo. We looked at each other. The lady's shoulder moved away from the frame to reveal the love of my life. And I looked at her. I was like, God damn. Smile. Like this. What's up? Blew her a kiss. Did a little this. This. Did a little dance, you know, to make her fall in love with me. And then we cro I crossed the road. And she crossed back. And I was like, shit. I didn't even get to talk to her. I was planning to stop the traffic and talk to her in the middle of the street. You know, like, like, what, like what they show in the movies, which is how it is in real life. Anyways, I crossed the road. I was nearing my house and then I was like, shit. The fuck? I was thinking about it. I didn't say anything. But when I was there, I was like, you know what? This is my chance. Okay, this is my chance. Whatever happens, happens. If she rejects me, who cares? At least I tried, right? But rejection is not the problem. Regret is the biggest thing that's going to hurt me from here on out. If I don't do this, I'm going to regret it. So I stopped dead in my tracks, did a U-turn, went back the same way, waited for the whole pedestrian crossing to go green again. And I saw her from a distance. She's walking. She's still there. And mind you, this is nighttime, okay? Unfortunately... Ah, I don't like doing this, to be honest with you. I don't like approaching at night because it's just, it's uncomfortable for both me and the girl, honestly, especially if you're going to be coming in from behind and it's like, there's literally, there's literally no lights in that area. There's lights, but then in the, it's a big sandy area base. So basically what the, that area is. The bus stop stops in this place and then there's this big sandy area which is just really dark. There's not enough light there. You can see each other's faces. You know there's someone walking there but it's still dark. So what happened was that's where she was walking towards. You know into the pitch black <laughs> basically. So what I did was I crossed the road everything went green and I was like okay now's my chance. I was running but when I, but when I was running I was making sure that my presence was known. You know, I wasn't like running like, Bleh. I was running with the intent, like, I don't know why, but like with people, people are people, right? We, got, we all got this instinct where if you want to make your presence known, there's this aura about you that you are going to make your presence known. Especially when you're like approaching people you like, whether you like it or not, there's always going to be that aura around you that makes your intent known. And... Some guys just try to play it off, dumb it down, and act like that's not what they're there for, when really that's what it is. And then that's where you get that awkwardness between the girl and the guy, and that this color, this this disconnect, you know. Which the girl knows why he's approaching her, but then the guy's just trying to play it off, like you know, I just want to be friends. <laughs> so that's where that comes from, that awkwardness, that disconnect, that this correlation. I don't know if that's a word. So yeah, that's that's basically it. You emit an aura when you approach people and when you talk to people. 
it's crazy. I just learned this recently. You know, like, I just learned, it's like that show One Piece. You, ha you emit hockey. We all have that hockey shit, you know, all around us. So whenever you're approaching people, you're, in a way, you're projecting your aura, your hockey. You know what I'm saying? You're like, oh shit, boom. Either they, they, they like bend to your will or they try and challenge you or they reject your aura, they reject your energy. It's crazy, I know, but it's real and that's what I'm learning to do recently, like just to be more aware of my aura and just to be more honest with my aura. Anyways, so yeah, I was approaching, I was running, yeah, just making sure that I'm releasing all my conquerors hockey and then she turned around and I was like, wait, wait, stop. I made sure that people could see me because, you know, it's, it's just really awkward. I don't like fucking doing approaches from behind. It's stupid. But then I just didn't want to regret it, you know. But, yeah, I did it anyway. Wait, wait, stop. And she stopped. She waited for a bit. She was like, okay, I'll wait. And I was like, whew, stop running, walk towards her. Okay. And this, the sand was like really, what do you call this? hilly <laughs> it was pretty high honestly and it's like you're walking and fucking I mean, there's a lot of sand i don't know the word okay it's it's just a lot of sand dunes hills thing on your feet and it's slowing the way slowing me down when i was walking so i was doing that you know just fucking traveler in the middle of the heat humid and she stopped she's waiting and then i guess she got tired of waiting she turned around and started walking i was like fuck wait i'm almost there so as i was nearing her i was like okay fine i guess i just assumed that you know she wanted to talk to somewhere that's not sandy because she was wearing slippers <laughs> and i was wearing like fucking sneakers white sneakers so that's what i assumed so as she was walking away she wasn't really walking fast she was just walking like normally so i was like oh fuck okay I get what you're trying to do, making it easier for the both of us. Let's go. <laughs> That's what I thought. Okay, so as I was nearing her, I was like, yes, there she is. She went to the parking lot because after that sandy area, there's a parking lot. There's like bricks and shit. So it's a proper walking place. So anyways, she's, she's there. She's in a proper walking place. And as I was nearing her, I was like, yes, here we go. Cute girl and I, we're going to meet finally. So... She went there, and as she was walking, this guy, some dude just came out of nowhere, and they started hugging. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Turned around 360 and just went, <laughs> went back <laughs> to the fucking stoplight. <laughs> oh, my God. Woo! Holy shit. Oh, my goodness. It was so crazy. The way it happened, I was there. I was so close to the treasure. Huh, and then... <laughs> Say it. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, my goodness. Huh. I, I turned around. Motherfucking did a U-turn. And I was laughing. You know, I used to do this thing in school it's called um cuqc it's like you train to be a soldier or shit like that we had this thing called about face translated into english it's basically where you turn around like this <laughs> that's what i did oh <laughs> never mind <laughs> my training kicked in went back the way i went i came from and then just dipped and here's the funny part okay i was just walking normally laughing my ass off like oh shit and then for some reason I felt that they were behind me. They were walking towards the same place I was walking in. And I was like, shit, I can feel your hockey. I can feel your presence. I turned around and I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> They're there. <laughs> You're walking the same place I'm walking in. <laughs> so we fucking re I fucking reached the stoplight. I was there. Okay. Pressed the button. A lot of people nearby. I thought they were going to go somewhere else. But I turned around. I was there waiting. I look here, and from the corner of my eye, I could see two people, a girl and a boy, and I was just, fuck my life. <laughs> oh my god, and they caught up. 
They caught up to me. They're right behind me. <laughs> There's a platform. Okay, so this is the sandy area. There's like a pavement here. Uh, a, pede a small pedestrian crossing. There's no... It's a, just a small crossing. They cross that, and then I'm here. And this is the proper pedestrian crossing with the, with the green lights and everything. So this is me. I'm here on the pavement, and they're here. <laughs> and I was looking like this. And I was like, oh, shit. I laughed. I laughed so hard. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. Like, when I was there, I was just like, oh, fuck. You know, this is so awkward. But then, it is what it is, you know? I just, whatever. It didn't work out. But whatever, it's a funny story. Who cares? Who gives a shit? You know? So, yeah, that's that. Um, the whole time, I mean, the guy, I, I, I guess she didn't tell the guy about me at all because, you know, they were just there. And she was looking, and then I was looking, and then they're there. No one really minded what happened. And yeah, it was just an awkward situation. But at the same time, it's really, really fucking funny. And yeah, that's that story. Really funny. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> I crossed the road, went straight, go, went back to my house. They went this way and then end of story. You're welcome. <laughs> so yeah, what's the lesson in this story? There's no lesson, you know. The only lesson is you gotta try. Okay, don't let regret. Okay, there is a lesson. What I'm telling you is the lesson. Don't regret, you know. Don't let your fear of rejection get in the way of the feeling of regret because that's worse. Did, did I say that right? Don't let the fear of rejection get in the way of trying because the feeling of regret is way worse than the feeling of rejection. Preach! Bars! See what I did there? I'm a wordsmith. Better than Andrew Tate in this bitch. Woo! So yeah, that's the story. Hope you have a good time laughing at my misery. And yeah, I'll see you next time. <laughs>